Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's a girl Twin D and thank you for stopping by my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thanks to Almighty God for bringing us here again, safe and sound, alive and well. Now guys, let's jump right into your message. This is going to be what your masculine is feeling about you. So let's see. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay guys, let's see what's going on. I'm using the Roman angels. So let's see. What's on your divine masculine's mind? How are they feeling right now? What's going on? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So you have some of your divine masculines here who are paying attention to what's happening around them. Changes that are happening around them. People around them. Things. Things that are taking place. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I love this. As I said, your divine masculines are letting go of things that are no longer serving them. Well, I didn't say it yet, but. <laughs> They're letting go of control issues. They're paying attention to people, places, and things around them. And they're realizing changes. They're realizing what's good for them, what's not. And they're no longer trying to control what's broken, no longer trying to fix it when they know that it's clearly falling apart. Your divine masculine here is realizing the connection between you and them. They're realizing that they were deceiving themselves, all the things that they told themselves as to why this relationship cannot work. Now they're seeing that that's exactly why it will. They're too much in love with you. They're going to hurt you. That's what's on their mind. Because they're thinking about how much they love you and because of past hurt and pain. They were holding on to that. And automatically, to them, the same thing is going to happen with, with them and the Divine Feminine. But you're letting go of the control issues. You're no longer trying to make things work out the way they want it to. They're no longer pushing the Divine Feminine away. Because they're realizing that there's a special connection here. See, wow. Just like I said, they were deceiving themselves. They were deceiving themselves and now they know for sure they were deceiving themselves because when they could have started this relationship, when they could have been having fun, when they could have been happy, they fought against it. They fought against the change. Changes that were supposed to happen in their life. Deceiving themselves, preventing themselves, stopping themselves from happiness. But now they're taking control. Yeah. Now they're taking control, guys. Now they're being optimistic. Now they're being optimistic. Now they're no longer looking at what's going to stop me? What can stop me? Who can stop me? Now they're holding on to God's promises because they're figuring out that this connection between you and them is a past life connection. On the bottom, we have children. So some of your divine masculines are thinking about children. So they may have, some of them may have children here. That some of them have on their mind. But again, they are deceiving themselves. Because some of them are using the children as an excuse to not break themselves free from the situation that they're in. They have to stay for their kids. They have to do this for their kids. 
But they realize now that they were just making an, an excuse because the more happier they are, is the happier their children will be too. Because once they're happy, they'll be able to extend that happiness towards their children. Because like right now, they don't have any time to play with their children. Their children is not around. Even if the children are around, they can't play with them because they're depressed. Sometimes they get angry because they're depressed. And they're realizing that they gotta let that go because they know when they're happy. They can feel this chemistry between you and them. They can feel the chemistry, they know it. That's why they know it's a past life relationship. So they gotta let go of things that are no longer serving them. They're about to let go. As I was saying about being playful, they realize that once they are happy, once they are able to extend that happiness towards their children, everyone will be happy. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. There you go, trust. Now they realize that all they have to do is trust in God and allow God to work. To bring this connection back together with you and them. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So they've made up their minds. They have made up their minds on what it is that they truly want and need. Whoa. What's the energy surrounding this? Pay attention to the red flags, please. What's the energy surrounding this, please? Growth. Growth. They have got to figure out what's right, what's good, what's not, so they can grow, so they can move forward, so they are able to open up their heart and welcome true love. And that's what they're thinking about, their growth, their destiny. That's where they want to be, that's what they're thinking about, their destiny. They're no longer looking at tomorrow or today and say, I'm okay today. Now they're planning ahead. Now they're planning way, way ahead for a lifetime of happiness, not just momentarily being happy. A lifetime of happiness. What's the energy around this let go of control issues, please? Let go of control issues. Stop trying to do things on your own. Let God work. Trust God and you will see miracles. Your divine masculines are seeing the miracles that are happening. That's why they're letting go of the control issues because what? They now see that you are connected, that this is a past life relationship. Now they're on a new path. They're no longer trying to fight against the love that they feel for you. They're allowing God to work. What's the energy on this past life relationship, please? Forgiveness. So divine feminines, your divine masculines are very sorry for all the things that went on between you and them. They want you to forgive them. They were blinded in the past, but now they can see clearly because they're allowing God to work. They're trusting in God. And they're asking for your forgiveness. They're forgiving themselves also for holding on to vanity, things that didn't matter, things that had no value. People and places. People who never took care of them. Places that didn't matter. They're achieving this because they're connecting to God here. Spiritual growth. Turn about this deception. 
What's the energy surrounding this deception? Mysticism, see that? Now they have to go within to find the answers that they're seeking. Because everything, and I just saw 1010, everything and everyone around them were just deceiving them. They were even deceiving themselves. So now they got to figure out the truth. Because they're figuring out that you're connected. And now they got to go deep within to find what's happening. Why it took them so long to figure this out? Why it took them so long to accept this, this love, this blessing? Because they were deceiving themselves. And they found their answer. And now they're going to create, they're planning on creating that future. That happy life. Tell me about this staying optimistic about the love life, please. You have perseverance. Yep, they're not giving up. They're going to push through. They're going to fight through for this connection. They're not going to give up on you. And they're not going to give up on this connection. They're moving away. They're realizing that they are remaining stuck because of themselves. Because of low vi vibrational people. And them connecting to God. They... Things are revealed to them, showing them that where they are is not where they need to be. They deserve better. And they will receive better. And they're praying that God helps them. Help them to complete this cycle. To put aside what does not matter and start to focus on what does. So they're changing their perception. Look out for communication from your divine masculines. I don't, some, I'm, I'm getting something about the stone because of the stone that's here, whether it's a bird stone or whatever it is, that that may be of some significance to someone. But their heart is definitely opening up. They are connecting more spiritually here than anything else. Now they can plan for their future. Now they can see the true path that they should be on. They're a brand new person. They are changed and healed. See that? Getting rid of the vanity. Things that don't matter. And they're not going to waste any time. They're going to push through. Now they're having faith. 13, 13. Now they're on the right path. And again, with the stone. I'm hearing amethyst. So that may be of significance to someone. And it's 11, 0, 1 on my little clock. 13, 31. My gosh. All these synchronicities that are happening here. All right, what else can you tell me about how these divine masculines are feeling, please? This is a good tarot, guys, where everything is good. <laughs> how is our these divine masculines feeling, please? Nine of air. They're feeling free. They're feeling free. They're no longer in their head. They're no longer stuck. Communication is coming in. Now they have a clear understanding of what's happening between you and them. I think this message is more for the divine masculines and feminines who are coming into union. But there's a cycle that they're completing here. See, there you go. They're on their way. They're coming. They're already in that ship. They're on their way. Seven of Earth. Their abundance. Reaping their reward. Wanting that abundance. Wanting that love. Wanting stability.
They're wanting that reunion, guys. They want to be stable. They're tired of all the disappointments in their lives. They're tired of all the suffering. They're tired of all the, 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 the misusing, the bad treatments, making them feel insecure. Someone's birthstone stone, maybe pearl too. I don't know why I'm getting all of these stones now. As I said, maybe significant to someone here. See that? All stability. That's what's on your mind now, stability. Breaking free from the broke pocketness. <laughs> because now they're thinking about the future. Not just today, nor tomorrow. long term long term so they are focused on their stability they want stability within these divine masculines are already in union within themselves that's why they were able to change their path and know that the connection between you and them is a past life connection now they're staying optimistic They don't want to be in the cold anymore. They don't want to lose you. They don't want to be in that energy of lack. Because when they miss you, when they can't be around you, it takes a toll on their heart. There you go. When you're not around them, when they can't be with you, it takes a toll on their heart. 16 minutes, number 16 card, number 6. Things are being torn down with the tower and being rebuilt in your masculine's life. A new home will be built between you and these divine masculines. A new home will be built because your masculine knows that you guys, you are the lovers, you give them the strength that they need to move forward. You encourage them. You stand by them. Because now they can see everything. They're realizing that you weren't being a pest. <laughs> you weren't being a pest. You were just doing what you were meant to do. What your soul knew that you should be doing. Acting. Like this person's caretaker. Like this person's wife. Husband. Whatever it is. Your soul just knew your role. And they were scared. They ran away from that because it was too much too soon. But now that everything is in order, everything is in place. They're realizing that everything was happening for a reason. The eight of air. Again, feeling free, ready to move forward. So the nine of air and the eight of air. So they're really being freed. Again, look out for communication, guys. You're going to get some communication here, maybe in eight days or something, in regards to your divine masculine coming back around. Or they may just show up because now they're trusting that everything is going to work out the way that it should. Two of air, wow. There's going to be some fast action here for you guys. Fast, fast action. This could even be sooner than eight days. The messenger of air. Big news coming in for you. Big healing. A new path. Your divine masculine is ready to take action. The hanged man, their perspective has changed. Some of you guys are in separation. There's quiet, there's silence between you and your masculine. Expect that communication to start up soon. Temptation. They're obsessed with prosperity now. Now they want happiness. Now they want to prosper. Now they are looking at their abundance. They're no longer obsessed with vanity. Things of the society and the world is no longer holding them back. no longer holding them back distance age gap language the way you were grown 
religion. Things have changed. Things have changed. And now, it's abundance time. <laughs> Your divine masculines are happy with the choice that they have made. And that choice is to move forward to you. And I did see 1010 10 before. They're closing out those cycles and they're ready to come forward. The seven of air. They're ready to come forward. They're ready to spill their guts. They're ready to speak their truth. Take it off that mask. Being light, being free, wanting abundance, wanting abundance. There's a lot of air here, man. I tell you, there's going to be a lot of action. This is clear, decisive action here. Your mind has been made up. They know exactly what it is that they want. And they're moving towards it. Very fast. Very, very fast. Very soon. A lot has been revealed to these divine masculines. Two, one, one, one. And again comes the messenger of air. So expect some communication, some messages coming in. This person that walked away from you, they're now waiting on that ship to come back in. Because they have found themselves, they have found their abundance, they know where it lies. And now they're ready to return. Okay, Quantum Oracle, what can you tell me about what's going on with these divine masculines and what's on their mind, please? In regards to this message here, please. Stuck energy. The vast universe. So God is helping them to break free from being stuck. They're being helped. They're having hope. They're holding on to God here. Again, with the deception. They've been deceiving themselves. They are realizing that others around them are deceiving them also. And now they're moving towards their happiness, guys. Now they're moving towards their abundance. You may be seeing 818 also. They're moving towards their abundance. 222. Two, two. I love it. Wow. Okay, these cards want to come out, okay? These cards want to say something. <laughs> Increase. It's time for abundance. No more lacking, like I said. No more lacking. Now they're moving towards abundance. They don't want to be in that energy anymore and they're scared of losing you also they don't want to lose you they don't want to lose your energy they're coming in with that offer and i said again your person may be moving towards you coming in with a surprise prepare for that communication yeah they have it in intentions and that's union that's union they're in love with you and they're going to tell you. Now they're going to be showing you gratitude for what you have been doing for them. What they never explained to you. How they truly feel. 11-11. New doors opening. Welcoming new love. Some of you guys will be moving in together very soon. Somebody's moving too. Maybe some of your masculines are moving. Some of them are breaking free from situations that held them down. And if you're going through any court cases, it will be prosperous. It will be prosperous. Your lives will be transformed. There's a big change coming in here for somebody. Big old changes. You know what? Let me get more on their energy here. I want to see more. Tell me more on their energy here. Energy oracle cards. <laughs> told you, told you, told you. <laughs> The energy oracle card. There you go. They're coming in with their heart in their hand. Coming in with the heart in their hand. And they're being led by spirit. They're being led by God here. Divinely guided. They're connected to God now. So now it's you, divine feminine, God in the middle, and your divine masculine. You both are being guided. See that? They're totally healed and happy. 
totally healed and happy and once again somebody's moving towards you you guys may be moving in together it just keeps showing up they're gonna be led on their right path and they're moving in towards you guys moving in with you here they have the strength again because you're the one who has been standing behind them helping them because now they can see that all your actions towards them were for good and you meant them no harm, no evil, nothing like that. Now they are appreciating you and they're going to show you that appreciation. You may be seeing 515. So they're coming up with a strategy here. Oh my God, 212. So you may be seeing those numbers, guys. 818, 515, 212. They're coming up with a strategy right about now to move forward to you because, again, they don't want to lose you. And you're being guided by God. You're being guided by God. You're making decisions. You're making those decisions. Two on two. They're heading on a new path. Where they were, it was just eating at them. Didn't serve them any purpose with the envy card wishing to be with you wanting to be with you but now they're making that move they're actually making the move to be with you because they're guided they're on the right path they're allowing their guides to help them and show them which way to go they're no longer fighting letting they're letting go of control issues they're letting things flow Can you give me a message for these masculines and feminines in regards to this message, please? Told you so. They know what to do. You know what to do, Archangel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So they're definitely taking action. They're definitely taking action, guys. Relationship harmony, Archangel Raguel. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So God's definitely helping them, guiding them, protecting them, showing them the right way to go. Give me one more, please. Nurture. There you go, taking care of yourself, doing what's best for you. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. And like I was saying before, in the beginning, when I was talking about the children, they're realizing that them being happy is what will help their children to also be happy. Because if they are not happy, they will be extending that energy towards their children also. And the only way to make their children happy is if they are happy. Clear cognizance, Archangel Uriel. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Your masculines were praying and they're receiving their answers. Archangel Uriel may be one of their guides. And Archangel Raguel, wow, these are the same two angels. These two angels may be their guides. Divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. So they are now trusting in God. They are not paying attention to outside sources. With that mysticism, they are finding their own answers within. Take back your power, Archangel Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. And Divine Feminine, you are their blessing and they are manifesting you. Leadership, Archangel Gabriel, it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So they have to use the power that God gave them to step back into their leadership power. To be that masculine. And sensitivity, Archangel Haniel, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. 
honor yourself and your feelings and again once again the swans see they're being guided i don't know if you can notice the angel up in here and there's one here too watching over watching over them leading them towards guidance some of you guys again you may be hearing those music playing a sign of happiness joy and I don't mean songs like you would hear on YouTube or song that you play just music instrumental music fifes guitars harps Well, everyone, this has been your message. And you can see what was on your Divine Masculine's mind. But there is communication that is definitely coming in here for somebody. And fast movement, too. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you all. And I'll see you later. Don't forget, if you haven't seen the next video, you can just click on it to watch it. It's going to be on the screen somewhere. I always put it there. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you all, and I'll talk to you next time. Today's Monday, and Aries, your reading is up tonight. Take care of yourself, guys. Later. Love you all. Let go and let God.